Dzień dobry, witam Państwa bardzo serdecznie. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I have the pleasure to open officially another edition of our conference about the clash of cultures and civilizations. This is a three day marathon of discussions about the most important issues from the perspective of the Republic of Poland. This time, this time the main topic of this three day discussion will be the Latin separate out to be courageous enough to be wise. So this is a sentence by Horatio, which was developed by Kant. It says that we should learn to analyze on our own without any external centers helping us and uh, replacing us in thinking. I'm talking about this why I'm talking about this? Because there was a, a um, medal that was awarded to uh, the Reverend Stanisław Konarski, who will assist us during this three-day conference. Uh, the Reverend Konarski is an outstanding personality in the Polish history. Uh, he was a very courageous in definition of uh, the main assumptions behind the Republic of Poland. So at the times of the first Republic of Poland, the uh, clash of cultures and the cultural war was already on. And he pointed out that it's worth thinking independently. And he was an author of some important dissertations about Polish sovereignty. He stressed uh, many important issues with regard to the Polish uh, regime and uh, so this is and that was based on the Polish Constitution so I'm talking about this motto for our three-day conference because consequently and consistently we're going to tackle these three issues. The conference will be divided into several uh, areas of interest. We will start from freedom and religion because this is one of the most important topic today, the freedom itself. In Europe and all around the world, we can see uh, the discussion about cancel culture, and I'm glad that we're going to talk about this today. So this is the, the um, we will explain the definition of cancel culture, but we get a lot of symptoms um, and a lot of uh, messages that freedom in uh, liberal democracy uh, that uh, was supposed to be the core and the start for the discussion about democracy um, is uh, um, provides for some forms of penalization of criminal thoughts as Orwell had it. So freedom will be the first topic. Of course, we will talk uh, about BLM, uh, the topic uh, which is important f from the perspective of freedom. So we will um, set it in an important political context in the U.S. because the uh, U.S. Uh, elections have just finished in several states and uh, they might bring something new to the American political uh, landscape. So that will be the first uh, part. And then we will tackle the issue of religion itself. Today we're talking a lot about um, the country becoming uh, um, lay and uh, about what happened in the Western countries that the Christianity uh, will become a thing of the past. We get many signals about how uh, the youth uh, approaches uh, religion and we are going to talk about this today is it inevitable or maybe Poland has some advantages that could be used and that may cause that we will stand out on the European landscape so that will be another part of our today's discussion so freedom and religion today tomorrow I'm sorry we're going to uh, talk about the culture so gender um, limited and unlimited anthropology, some vivid topics. 
uh, we will follow with um, uh, the regime's so sovereignty and the level of it, how much sovereignty we need, what strengthens and what weakens the Republic of Poland, and we will set it in geopolitical context. So some uh, very important topics with regard to a geopolitical um, situation and the placement of Poland, of the Republic of Poland uh, in this picture. We will have a great performance tomorrow. Um, the presentation of poems uh, written by Cyprian uh, Kamil Norwid and the interpretation of uh, Jerzy Zelnik. So uh, these are poems from the times when the Republic of Poland didn't exist, and we will strong the, we will present the strength of our Polish culture, and we'll try to convince um, our panelists. We'll try to convince that Poland has great um, cultural advantages, and um, we should be proud of them. And the third day. Uh, we will close the conference with uh, the discussions about uh, the Polish history. That's why I've mentioned uh, the Reverend Konarski. Um, we will talk about uh, important uh, issues, especially for politicians, to jump to conclusions and to formulate some conclusions based on historical facts. And this um, vivid topic. Uh, about the Second World War and how it could end. And um, we will tackle, tackle the issue whether it could end better for Poland. So that's going to be a very interesting discussion uh, with participants of um, many environments. Some people uh, think e that it could uh, end up better, some not. We will see it. We will have an opportunity to observe it. And we will close the conference uh, with a series of uh, summary discussions with our panelists. So once again, we're just about to start a three-day marathon about the future of the Republic of Poland. We will have some guests from Poland and from abroad, also from the United States, uh, who will join us online. So the first part is opening. Um, the first part of the conference is officially open, and uh, uh, in three minutes we will present the third, the first uh, guest who will talk about cancel culture. That's all. Thank you.